All right, so there are three screws. We're going to drop this one down. And we're going to slide it out. Everything is seems to be broken down here. There's one screw here, one here. This one is missing. Remove the front bumper. So they should have five screws. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so one screw here, one screw down here, one here, so that's three, four, five, six, seven. And behind here, after you take all of these out, okay, there's back there. One, two, and one on the bottom there. And that one Whoever did the bumper before didn't put the nuts in it. They think that they don't so need it. So you pull this one out. And then you push it forward. Uh, we're going to do on the other side also. So there's one okay. side. There's a front bumper. It's called bumper cover. Alright, on the passenger side, it's easier to see those three nuts mounting the front bumper cover. And they didn't lose any nuts, it's because it's much easier for them. Alright, the front bumper is out. So this is the water. See it's leaking now. It's, ooh, it's coming out from there. So move it over a little bit. Ah, a little guy right there. Ah, it's cracked. Ah. This one right here is a G65. Wow. I'm going to put back the three nuts. I don't need to remove the wheels. That's right behind here. Okay, so to put back the bottom screw, you have to remove this, and then you can feel the screws right here. So the guy who did it before was let him do it. So, all right, to put the lining back on, the fender lining, just turn the wheel all the way here like this and then slide it back in okay so we don't have to take the wheels off 